The mayor and Detroit police are putting out a very clear message saying people in the neighborhoods are watching out for those who may violate the stay at home order and reporting them to DPD. Now is not the time to pull back at all. Governor Gretchen Whitmer wants you to know her decision to extend the state's stay at home executive order through April 30th comes with good reason saving lives. We are faced with dangerously low levels of the medications required to safely place patients on ventilators. Detroit's mayor agrees, telling us there are signs the curve is beginning to flatten, but Detroiters have to continue to avoid putting themselves at risk. We're a long way from this being over, but the efforts that the community is making uh, is dramatic and uh, when you look at 38 deaths on Sunday, if we were still doubling every four days, we would have had 76 deaths today instead of 26. That's how much it matters. Detroit Police Assistant Chief James White says most Detroiters are getting the message and only leaving home for groceries, medications, or for essential work. While Detroit's parks remain open for some outdoor activities, no barbecues nor basketball games are allowed. Business owners are also being watched. We issued 261 warnings, 56 citations. Uh, we broke up 35 groups, eight parties, and uh, one business that we closed, and that was a beauty and barber supply company. Tougher guidelines now in effect mean no travel between two residences in the state after April 10th. Stores must limit capacity, mark areas to remain six feet apart, stop selling non-essential items such as furniture and paint, and auto dealers can only sell remotely. If you see anyone violating that stay at home order, police want you to notify them right away so we can all be protected. The fine remains $1,000. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.